Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what each of my bridesmaid proposal boxes included. I also have three junior bridesmaids, so they are, I think two of them are 14 year olds and one of them is 12. She might be 13 by the time our wedding comes. So I did something a little bit different for them. So if you guys want to see what I included in each box, what they have, what that is what I included, where I bought it, how much I paid for it, and just basically all about these boxes, then just keep on watching. So starting off with the actual box, um, it's just a white box. that I actually got these on Amazon, and I believe it was a pack of 12... Yeah, I think it was 12 and I believe I paid about $14 for all 12 of them. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description box. I don't really remember how much I paid for them, but they're on Amazon um, and these are actually super cute. They're just a plain white cardboard box and they come flat. You have to like assemble them, but it's actually pretty easy. And then I customized these boxes using my Cricut machine so if you don't know what a Cricut machine is and you're getting married honestly you should look into it because I feel like you can use it for a bunch of different stuff like you could make your own um your own signs you can make all your proposal boxes you can customize everything you can customize your wedding favors if you're gonna have favors we're actually going to be doing some shot glasses and they're going to be customized and I'm thinking of doing those using my Cricut machine hopefully. If not, then I'll just have to send them somewhere else to get customized. Um, but you can do so many different things with it. But yeah, now going into what the boxes actually have. So this is for my sister. Her name is Nora. She's going to be one of my um, bridesmaids. So this is what the box looks like from the inside. So the first thing in here is this little card that says be my bridesmaid. I actually got these at Walmart and they were in a pack of eight and I believe they were five dollars for all eight of them. They might have been like four dollars for all eight of them actually. And they're actually supposed to be like foldable and you can like write things inside of them. But I cut them in half or I cut that part off because I used the other half for my junior bridesmaids. Um, I customized them myself because they didn't sell them literally anywhere. So I just made my junior bridesmaids myself using my Cricut machine. But these are super cute, super inexpensive, and you can buy these at Walmart. The next thing that I put in here was these wine glasses, and these are so cute. They're also customized. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me take out... I put some chocolate in here, so some Ferrero Rochers and some Kisses. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep, yeah, there you go. So I customized them with the same vinyl that I customized the name in front of the box. These are absolutely wonderful. I love these so much. They were actually really expensive if I bought them on Etsy. I looked them up and each of them were about 8 or $10. So that's when I decided I needed a Cricut machine so that I can make these. And I bought the glass at Dollar Tree and I just made this myself. So it was, de I definitely saved money by making these myself. Let me know if you guys are interested in buying them because I can actually make yours. So yeah, I'll leave my email down in the description so that you guys can email me if you're interested in me making either the boxes or the wine glasses. I can customize them for you. Um, I just don't know how much the price would be for them yet because I have to see how much I how much vinyl I would spend and all of that. But I can definitely make those for you if you guys need me to. The next thing that I included in here was this candle and this is a strawberries and cream scent. These smell so good. It smells so good. It smells like bubblegum almost. Um, but it's strawberries and cream, and I bought these at Dollar Tree, so I only paid a dollar each. I feel like it was definitely a steal. I know that they also sell something like this on Amazon. Um, I'm just not sure what the price is, but I was looking at a lot of videos of proposal boxes, and a lot of people said that they got um, their candles on Amazon, so that's another option. 
But I thought these were so cute, and when I saw them at Dollar Tree and I smelled them, I was like, yes. Yes. I need them. And you guys will see that the whole um, theme of the box is pink and gold and silver. And that's obviously not my wedding colors. Um, if you guys saw my Q&A, then you'll see that my wedding colors are blue, silver, and white. Um, but I just decided to make them pink because I thought that they would be super cute. I also included these bath bombs and I actually got these on Dollar at Dollar Tree. They came in a pack of three. So I just had to buy like four packs um, to have enough for all of my boxes. And these are super cute. So I paid a dollar for three of them. The next thing I included was this wine. So this is some pink Moscato. Some of the girls got a different, some different ones because the liquor store that I went to ran out of these. Um, I believe that it, they came in a pack of four. They were $6.99 for the pack of four. But I got them at the liquor store in my town and they're probably overpriced. So just to get your like, nearest liquor store. But I thought these were so cute. They definitely had to be pink to match the theme. I thought these were really cute to include though since I included the wine glass. And then, and obviously for the Junior Bridesmaids, I didn't put some champagne or some wine in there. I'll show you guys what I put in there instead, and honestly, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute, but I'll show you guys that when we get to those boxes. The last thing that I put in here was a Team Bride sash, and these are so, so cute. I really like the gold um, lettering in it and just like the font of it with like the little diamond. I did get these on Amazon. It came in a pack of 11 of them with one of them that says like bride to be. So in total it was 12 of them and I believe, gosh I don't even remember how much I paid. I want to say like $10, so maybe it might have been like $15. I'm not sure but I'll definitely go ahead and link them down in the description box for you guys if you guys are interested in these. I also thought these were super cute because for my bridal party, um, or for my bridal shower, I want all of my bridesmaids to wear their little sash. Um, I'm hoping that the color of it will be pink and gold. So I think that it'll be super cute if all of us are just wearing like our little sashes. And maybe even for like our bachelorette party again, they can reuse them. So if they don't lose them for the bridal shower. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I definitely wanted to include that in there. So overall, these boxes are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Um... How they came out I feel like they were really inexpensive to make I think to make all of my boxes I spent about a hundred dollars so these are my junior bridesmaids boxes and they look the same I obviously put them in the same box and I also customized them with their name on it so this is Shirlene this is my little niece she's 14 years old um, so she's really not that little anymore. I feel like my junior bridesmaids will just blend in with my bridal party because they're literally like taller than me at this point. But they're so little so I decided to name them um, junior bridesmaids. So like I said I made their little cards. It just says will you be my junior bridesmaid. Um, these are so freaking cute. I took the back of the other cards this is why I cut them in half so that I can make them their own little card. I just literally couldn't find Junior Bridesmaids proposal cards anywhere. So I just decided to make my own. Oh, let me show you guys what it looks like overall. I'm like not showing you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I also made them their own personalized cup. So they're obviously not going to be drinking out of wine um, glasses. So I just decided to buy them this little cup and I also got this at Dollar Tree. And then same thing, I just put some kisses in here and some Ferrero Rochers. And then I added a little bit of that shredded paper. I didn't tell you guys, but the other one also has shredded paper. And I bought that at Dollar Tree. I used about half of the bag on each box. So they're super cute. I don't know if you guys can see the customized name on there. But these are super cute. I know that my little bridesmaids are going to love it. Instead of the candle, I thought that they wouldn't really use the candle. They might. I mean, they're, they are a little bit older now. But just 
so that in just in case like they wouldn't use a candle and they would just like leave it laying around i decided to get them gum which i thought that they would actually use gum um it's funny because i was trying to find like a strawberry flavored gum so that it can match the scent of the candle but i literally couldn't find any anywhere so i just got them this bubble gum flavored and this is trident i believe these were like a dollar each at king supers I also obviously wasn't going to be putting a champagne or a wine bottle in here because, like I said, they are little ones. Um, so I went to Walmart and I found this and I thought this was so perfect. This is um, Bubble Bath and it's strawberry, kiwi, and apple scent. And they match the theme. They're freaking cute. They're um, like champagne bottle shaped. So I thought these would be so cute to put them in replacement of the um, wine. For the little ones, I bought these at Walmart and they were $3. I don't know if they always have them, like if they're so seasonal because I did buy them around Christmas time or if they have them all the time. Um, but I'm sure that you guys can find something like this at like Forever 21 or t even Target. Target always has like little things like this. So this is what I put in here in replacement of the wine. I also put a, a bath bomb in here. I know that I, I was like considering not putting bath bombs in here because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I already put a bubble bath in there, but I'm like, eh, they can use this another time, so why not? So I definitely put this in here. And then I also gave them the same little sash. That's a team bright on them. So that's basically it for the little bridal, for the little junior ones. They look so freaking cute. So it was like really inexpensive to make all of these boxes. I think I spent around $100 to make everything. Um, just because a lot of stuff I did get like at Dollar Tree. I'm sure if I would have got it somewhere else like at Walmart or at Target, I would have paid a little bit more money for them. And then it also helped out a lot that I have a Cricut machine and I was able to customize everything. Cricut machines are a little bit expensive to be honest. So for mine, I got it around the holidays so they do have a sale going on. So the regular price of them are $250 and I only got them for I only got mine for $200 at Michaels, but they sell them like on Amazon. You can buy them on the Cricut website as well. The only reason that I decided to get mine is because, like I said, I'm going to be using it for a lot of things for the wedding. And I just watched a lot of videos before I actually decided that this is something that I was going to get because it is a little bit expensive. Um, I watched a bunch of videos just to like fail if I really want to do this, if I really wanted to um, customize everything and how easy it was going to be, how time consuming and all of that. Um, something that I didn't take into consideration when I bought my Cricut machine was that I had to buy all of the accessories separately. So I definitely did see like a lot of accessories being used in all of the videos that I watched but I just didn't think that they were going to be that expensive. Um, so I did have to buy a lot of different things for it or that I needed to like make all of these things. So overall for like the Cricut machine and all of the accessories, I think I spent about $270 to $290. Um, all of the accessories are really expensive for it. And even though I did buy some stuff on Amazon, at Michaels they're like way overpriced, but I did buy some things on Amazon. Um, they were a little bit cheaper and there were some things that I didn't get Cricut branded because those are like a lot more expensive. But the things that I ordered, they worked pretty well, but like I said, they were still a little bit pricey. I didn't think that I was going to be spending that much money on a Cricut machine, but oh well, I got it. I feel like I'm going to get a good use out of it, and maybe it's something that I can continue using. Like the um, glasses and the boxes, if you guys want to use them for your wedding, I'm going to go ahead and leave my email down below, and you can go ahead and message me if you want me to customize yours, and I'll just give you like a wholesale price everything obviously i do have to up the price because i have to put in time and effort in these things but if you don't have time yourself or you don't want to invest in a cricut machine then go ahead and email me and i'll give you a price for everything that you want me to customize another idea that i did want to share with you guys is i was going to put like a makeup pouch in each of the boxes that were also customized with my bridesmaids names however i 
thought that the boxes were already like very full and it was just going to be overwhelming if there was too many things in there so what I decided I'm going to do the day of my wedding is I'm going to give each bride a customized pouch with their name on it I don't want it to say bridesmaids or anything just so that they can use them they can keep on using them after the wedding so I'm thinking I'm either going to make a hangover kit so put like Advil and like other hangover um, items in there and then or I want to make like a wedding kit so maybe put like a sewing kit and like gum and just like things that you need to have for the wedding uh, my efficient actually gave me like this printout which is super awesome like thank you so much Janet but she gave me this printout of like things that are like must have for the wedding and they have like a bride a bride one and I think that I'm going to include a lot of those things inside of the bridesmaids ones. So that's just another idea if you guys want to include those in your bridesmaids boxes or if you guys want to do those the day of. So that is it for this video guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, make sure that you guys subscribe, especially if you are getting married, so that you can follow this journey with me. I'll be uploading videos on basically everything. So if you are getting married, go ahead and subscribe to me so you can get ideas on what you should do and all of that. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe even if you are not getting married. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, but I am going to make the groomsmen um, a bag. It's going to be a bag, not a box, just because I feel like if I make them a box, like they won't really save them. Like guys are way different than girls so I decided I'm gonna do a box or a bag I'm sorry I don't really know what I'm going to put in there I do know that instead of the wine class we're gonna be doing um, beer mugs I actually already bought some of them I got them from Dollar Tree as well and I will be customizing those as well they won't be as girly as the ones that I made the girls and then we'll put like a few other things like maybe instead of the wine we'll put like shot glasses and then we'll put a, a few other manly things. If you guys want to see a video on that go ahead and let me know in the comments. I really wasn't sure or I'm really not sure if I want to film that or if I want to record that for you guys but if that's something that you're interested in watching then go ahead and let me know down in the comments and I can definitely make that happen for you guys and I can just do a video just like I did for this one. But I'll see you guys on my next one.